This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, going to take you five days into the future for our June 13th, 2023 City Council meeting. For this uh, June 13th meeting, we've got a committee of a whole. We're having a discussion about the resolution 23-13, the um, basically the MPO resolution. But we've got a special guest. We've got uh, Jackson Fox, the executive director of the Fairbanks Metropolitan Area Transportation System, coming in to kind of have a discussion with the council. And as a committee of the whole, we can kind of open it up and ask, the council can ask questions and we can have some interaction. And then later on in the meeting, there'll be another public hearing for a chance for the public to comment. And then uh, also the council may, may take action then at that time. We've also got a couple proclamations. We've got uh, recognizing June 14th, 2023 as Flag Day. We've also got a proclamation for recognizing June 19th, 2023 as Juneteenth in Palmer, Alaska. And then there's also a presentation by the Alaska Scottish Highland Games, Jenny McDaniel, Executive Director. The Scottish Highland Games are coming in the uh, third or fourth weekend, I think it is, of uh, June. So right now, this weekend is Colony Days, and then in a couple weeks will be the uh, Alaska Scottish Highland Games at the uh, Palmer Fairgrounds. Um, and then for public hearings, we have three public hearings for this meeting. Uh, another public hearing for Rezo, the Resolution 23-13, uh, the somewhat ominous MPO resolution that we've been considering discussing since last month. And as I mentioned earlier in the meeting, we'll have that uh, committee of the whole between the council and uh, the representative from Jackson Fox from Fairbanks. And then uh, we've also got 17, Reso 23-017, accepting money for Thrive, Matt, Sue, and United Way to support the Palmer Police Department Bicycle Patrol Unit. And then there's a resolution for 23-018, is a public hearing for supporting the Palmer Parks and Rec Advisory Board and funding for a concept development for a veterans slash first responders memorial wall in Palmer. And then there's two action memorandum with topics ranging from the Arctic Winter Games 2024 to disposing of a wastewater equipment dredge. And in my report, I included a couple of uh, links to, in case people are still trying to figure out more about the MPO or the Matsu Valley planning for transportation issue. And then I think it's the 24th and 25th of June is when the Scottish Highland Games are. And then as far as meetings coming up on our meeting on the 27th, um, I believe we'll be introducing, um, have a public hearing and introducing the idea of a library bond. Um, a bond is something that the council can do it, we bring it and as we vote on it as a council, and then it goes on the ballot at our next regular meeting, uh, regular election in October. And uh, I think I'm going to be suggesting that we do a bond for uh, up to 10 million for the building and rebuilding of the Palmer Library. And uh, with with the bonding, that's something that goes to the voters. The voters have the choice, yes or no. But I know in the past when the, we've I believe we did an $8 million bond and the voters approved it for our water waste treatment plant and the difficulties we were having. And we've actually never done that bond. We found other ways to finance it. And so it's, it's kind of like taking out a loan essentially for a city, but it's, it doesn't have to be the full amount. It's just, we get approval from the voters to make sure that uh, they agree that this is an important thing for our city. So that would be, if that would be coming up on probably the 27th, uh, the meeting on the 27th of June, and then there would be pro a second public hearing and the first meeting, I believe it's in July 11th. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our June 13th, 2023 City Council meeting.